Hi guys, my name is Izzy. I'm a sporadic YouTuber. Today I'm going to be doing my TBR for the month of September. As you guys know, I did do a video where you got to pick my TBR for the next two months. So yeah, that video is up if you want to check that out. But those are not the only books that I would like to get to this month. Um, so those books I can carry over into two months and it's just... It was basically, I'm shedding, I'm shedding. <laughs> it was basically just to keep me motivated to read and I had a blast doing it. So if you don't know what that is at all, go watch that video. I will be probably doing it again in October. It was just a really, it was just really fun. So anyway, these are those books for that. So if you wanna go see what these books are, uh, whatever I don't finish this month, I will obviously put into my October TBR. So we will see where we get. I am also currently reading three books. Um, which I will go through right now. So, I am reading The House of One Thousand Eyes by Michelle Barker. Um, almost done with this. I hope to finish it today because I do want to get a review up for you guys before the 11th, which is when this comes out, and this is an arc. And so far I've really been enjoying this, like, quite a bit, and things have just gotten so intense and um, it's just been really good so far. I am also listening to the audiobook for Americana by Chimonda Negrosi, Negose Adiche. I absolutely loved her two little short books, uh, We Are Feminists and A Feminist Manifesto. I think A Feminist Manifesto should be required reading for every single human being in the world. It should be required reading. I feel like every single person should read that book. It's so great. But this is like a novel. It, not like a novel, it is a novel, and the audiobook has been really great. It's been treating me well, and um, I've really been enjoying the story. I am also reading In the Country We Love by da Diane Guerrero. She is the girl from Orange is New Black, uh, from Jane the Virgin. She's an actress, and this is her true story about when she was 14, she came home from school, and her whole entire family had been deported, and she was all alone. I also picked three books out of my TBR wastebasket last month to either unhaul or read and I didn't read any of them. I just did not have any interest in any of them anymore. I lost I lost interest. So I'm going to unhaul all three of these. City of Thieves, um, This is What Happy Looks Like, and this one, Crash Into Me. I just lost interest. So I'm going to unhaul all three of those. I also picked two books out of my TBR wastebasket for this month to read and these are the ones that I picked. So uh, The Naked Truth by Leslie N Nielsen. Nielsen. Um, he is an actor. If you don't know who he is, we can't be friends. Um, but uh, he was, this is, I believe, this is surrounded around um, the Naked Gun movies. Or maybe it's just his memoir and just his story about his life and blah blah blah. I'm not sure. I haven't read it. I'm going to read it. Hopefully I get to it because it looks really great. Plan to get to that. And I pulled out Some Kind of Magic by Teresa Weir. She actually told me because I read one of her books this past month and um, she told me that I should read Girl with the Geek Tattoo. So maybe I will pick that up and read that as well this month. If you don't know who Teresa Weir is, this is Anne Fraser's real name. Before she started writing these fantastic, amazing books, oh my god, I love everything that is written under the Anne Fraser name. I love it so much. Um, before she started doing that, she wrote Contemporary Romance or Romance and um, it's interesting. It's so different. So we'll see how this one goes. <laughs> I uh, She's going to be mad at me because I didn't pick up Girl with the Geek Tattoo next. I'm going to pick it up, Anne, if you're watching this. Uh, I can't call you Teresa. It's just so weird, even though that's your real name. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. It's so weird. Now, readathon wise, I was going to participate in Translateathon. I don't know if I'm going to or not. I don't know. But if you want to participate in that readathon, I really recommend you do, if you, especially with the time, if you have the time, because I do not right now, which is unfortunate because I think I participated in the first round and I think I enjoyed it quite a bit. I do have another round of Grinchathon coming up this month. Uh, it should be happening very, 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 very soon. Um, I haven't announced the dates yet. I haven't announced the challenges yet or any of that. So just stay tuned to on here. Um, I do plan to put the announcement up in the next week or so. So stay tuned. Um, it's going to be happening in September, probably towards the end of September. And it's going to be a light round. Um, we will get more into that when I finally put up the challenges and everything. You'll see what I'm talking about. Um, but I'm still really excited to do it another round, even though with school, I know I'm going to be boggled down. I'm, I'm cool with it. We're going to make it work because I really want to read with you guys. And yeah, anyway, I'm going to go. I love you guys. Peace. I'm out. Goodbye. I'll see you in the next video. All that fun stuff. I love you. Bye.